Howdy, howdy, everybody. It's me. It's your local rye bread rice uh, cheese demon uh, back at it again with the rain world, the Wayne world, even. Uh, yeah, you know, there was something I wanted to talk about. It was in my head like a few seconds ago. I've completely forgotten what it was. <laughs> uh, oh, I remember now. Um, the 7 p.m. streaming, I have to say preferably I'm enjoying the extra time I have <laughs> I'm enjoying the extra time I have in the day to just like do other things and like relax a bit especially on my school days like a good fucking god I cannot exemplify you how fucking annoying it is <laughs> or has been to come home tired as shit wake up from like a two hour nap and then immediately get into streaming mode. And, like, get everything set up. Like, I... Even though they have been tired as shit, like, throughout it. So, like, the extra time just to, like, get myself back in gear and, like, take care of things. Like, it, it's been good. It has been good. It has been appreciated, even. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I'm still testing this out. Ultimately, I do want to, um... I'll probably give it, like, about, like, maybe another, like, week. I'll probably give it, like, another week of testing it out. Because, ultimately, I don't feel like this is going to be useful. E even if it's, like, better for me. If, like, uh... If, like, nobody, like, really, like, shows up during these. Not that it matters all too much, but it's just, like, utility and stuff, you know? I want, I want the people who actually, like, kind of enjoy watching me to, uh, to show up. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a sip here real quick. Hold up. Drinking Diet Pepsi straight out of the two liter bottle. I need to buy more bottled water. <laughs> if I get any hydrate redeems today, uh, I'm effectively just gonna have to go into like the bathroom I have like uh, over to my right because my room has a bathroom and just sit from the tap. <laughs> or maybe I'm drinking the toilet water. Y'all don't fucking know. Whatever. Let's go ahead. Let's get into the rain world. Go ahead. Turn that off. Uh, so, yeah. Last week, we made a lot of progress really fast. <laughs> like, uh, like, we were... I don't know what it was on, dude. But I was just fucking blasting through Spearmaster this round. Even in unfamiliar territory, I was kicking massive fucking ass. So, like, being able to... Uh, Fuck. Um, I'm I'm confident we can probably like get to pebbles, maybe even get back to moon within the stream, depending how things go. I will have to go through the precipice, and I've never gone through precipice before, so we're gonna see how that works out. But right now things have been pretty good. We got we got inside of moon, and not in well not in the way that would be preferred to be honest, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Uh, but we're inside Moon, and just trying to get up to where her puppet is. And last time, uh, the last time I tried, we, um, we, uh, wound, wound up running the rain timer. Which, uh, was not aware you could do. Oh, shit, there was a fucking... Oh my god, I hate my life. Um, we round up running the rain timer down, and apparently in, a uh, moon, if you run the rain timer down, you, uh... That really all adds down here? Ah. Uh, that is bull. If you run the rain timer down, uh, you don't get the gravity, and the gravity is necessary to get back to, uh... You'll get back to where you need to be. To actually, you know, see moon. If you don't got the gravity, you don't got the moon. You don't got the moon. You don't know basic you don't know basic English language. There's got to be a way. There has to be a way. Alright, um Yeah, this'll work out brilliantly. 
I'm sure nothing's gonna go wrong in this room. Yeah, uh, we have a generous cycle. We should be fine. We. Uh. Go ahead, get up this way. I'm trying to not pull up a map again. I did it. I did it at the end of that because, like, I was going to find a shelter at some point. But right now, I I don't feel like it's super necessary, especially with the cycle we got going on right here. So yeah, pull up. Just moving the window a bit so I can see things a bit better on the thing because I'm not using my second monitor because I have been using it a bunch to uh play play my switch and that's mostly because like every fucking streamer that I watch has like been playing Mario Kart <laughs> which has been really fun by the way <laughs> I I never thought I could have that much fun with Mario Kart 8 because Mario Kart 8 to me is like a it, it, it's always been a pretty middling Mario Kart, but, like, I've been having a ton of fun, like, playing it on people's streams. It's actually been a blast. Ugh. Getting over there. Slowly but surely. I thought that was a platform. Uh. I've mostly been doing pretty good, to be honest. I don't feel like my build is, like, a meta one, because I know Mario Kart 8 has a meta. But, like, my, like, King Boo build, what I got is, um, I'm trying to remember the names of it. It's one of the sports bikes. The ones that, like, have the interning, because I like the interning. I've, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried the more standard turning before, and I hate it, and I never want to use it again. <laughs> uh, but... Like, it, it's one of those bikes, but I forgot the name. Uh, the Cloud Gliders and uh, the Slick Tires. And it's done me good. It's done me really good. <laughs> but of course, it is Mario Kart, so I inevitably get Mario Karted. So, that always jump scares me. <laughs> Also, Surveyor, you doing all right there, buddy? <laughs> Surveyor. <laughs> you seem a little stuck. You doing all right, my friend. If I grabbed a neuron and made you angry, would that help you get unstuck? I feel like that would be beneficial to you, my friend. Spearmaster, I swear to fucking God if you don't grab this pole. Go, go, gadget, extendo arm that ass. Well, I just went sort of suddenly fucking like deep voice for that. <laughs> a little bit. Eh. Is it just me or is my like live notification on the Do I wanna Do I wanna just get in the shelter here? I don't have food though. That's the issue. I don't have food. Can I spear the neuron flies? Is that possible? There is no... There was no assault. I didn't attack anything. Please leave me be. I am perfectly fine. Perfectly stable. I'm a very normal individual. I did not attempt to spear any neuron flies. I did not attempt to get a snack. I, I am a Buddhist monk who is starving themselves. Okay, I guess I'll just go in here. I gotta find it eventually. They do give pips. They give half a pip. They give something. <laughs> Get 
in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. There we go. Making my way downtown. Oh, bro. I do like one spear in here. I eat for weeks. I want to have at least a full belly. Enough to get in a shelter. How did I miss every single one? There we go. Okay. Back to it. Do need to hurry though, because eventually I'm gonna run out anti grav. That'll be bad. Hmm. I always am surprised when I don't even get one. I had mad hops there, Jesus Christ. Oh, way downtown, way downtown, way downtown. Wasn't I in here? I don't think so. Nah, I wasn't. I would remember that pearl. No, I was in here. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna have to resort to copious amounts of spear ladders. I feel like that's what I'm about to have to do. Copious amounts of spear ladders. And angry surveyors. I can at the bare minimum get in the shelter now. That's alright. I'll take this. We take those. I wonder how many pips a surveyor gives. Am I stupid enough to try? The answer is probably yes. Is everything stable? Stream-wise? Hold on. I'm just checking things out. Just doing some, doing some schmovement, making sure everything works. I can never tell if it's my end or, um, I can never tell if it's my end or which's end. Because my Wi-Fi has just been, like, kind of shitty in general lately. Even when watching, like, other people's streams. I mean, everything says excellent. I think OBS says excellent, too. Yeah. Like, I don't see anything on my end that could be causing lag, so it might just be Twitch. I've just been hearing of people having a shitty time. <laughs> a shitty time with Twitch just in general. And on those Mario Kart streams I was talking about, um... What to eat, y'all? That was literally not even the direction I was holding. There we go. Alright, back in we go. There is no surveyor. However. Perhaps. Potentially even. Oh? Have I found the way? Oh shit, I think I found it. I think I found moon I think I found moons uh 
woman's body inside her body. Mother. I forget. Come on. This has to be it, dude. I swear, I swear to God. This isn't it? Really? Really? Got a full belly, that's all that matters right now. Fall into my death, that's all that matters right now. Oopsie daisy. Making my way downtown. How is the cycle for this run? Ah, not not nearly as generous. Understood. Understood and appreciated. Understood and acknowledged. Hello. Neural Terminus. Still trying to find Mother. Mother. Mother, I threw up. And I need you to clean it up. Alright, hold on. I might have to... Just to get some sh movement. I'd love that for there to just be a surveyor on the other side. Okay, if that is not the way to moon, I don't know what is. <laughs> this just screams, hey, this is where you're supposed to go. Oh, bro, this music. On. Get over here. Grab the pole. Climb, bitch, climb. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, wait, there's a pole. There's a pole right here. Yeah. Come back to me. Grab anything. Anything. There you go. Perfection. Not a single thing has gone wrong. Okay, this this has to be it. This is literally just five pebbles is like thing. But moon. Move. Move, Spear Master. Shmove. This is not the way to moon. This is not where... This... I mean... Fuck it. I'm looking at a map. Look, man, I want I want to know if I'm wasting my time here or not. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, looks to the moon, rain world, region. Uh, let's see here. Neural terminus. She was down. Cringe. Fucking lame. I have to go down. I mean, I kind of felt like that might be the case, but also, like, 
fucking... Eh. Yeah. I would honestly appreciate the gravity just not turning on right now. I would honestly just be appreciated at the moment, because... Poles. Friendly things in the world. Just use the air resistance. Spear master. Uh, Spear master is my favorite because it gives me an excuse to stab. Stab is fun. Stabbing is fun. Also, welcome in game, Stol Skull. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Good to have you. Ugh. Don't mind me, I just got a little lost trying to get to mom. I'll be fine though. But yeah, my second my second playthrough of Spearmaster, because my first one kinda went to shit. Uh just skull works, gotcha. <laughs> but yeah, my first uh playthrough of Spearmaster kinda went to shit. So I restarted and I made and I've kinda made a lot of progress really fast. However, this is my first time in Moon. <laughs> so is it going about as well as you expect? There she is. There's mother. Teach me English. I'm just baby. I don't understand. Give me a liter literature textbook. I don't speak French. Mine ended in genocide instead of the story. <laughs> Uh, yeah, combat in Spearmaster is actually really fucking fun. Like, having unlimited offense is just good. Unlimited offense is just good. Like, not even Artificer is, like, as offensively minded. Hmm. I made myself a minigun because it's fun to be God. <laughs> I'm refraining from mod and mods and dev tools until uh until I beat all campaigns. After that, then I'll fuck around with stuff like that. I wanna do like a crowd control. Hello there. Are my words reaching you? <laughs> Stop dancing. <laughs> Let me boogie. Let me do this boogie. Wait, is she not gonna keep is she not gonna talk until I stop moving? Mother, I do not wish to be a weapon of war. I just want to dance. <laughs> I did the same, ignoring the saint, because that's pain. What, uh, waiting to, uh, do mods until you completed all the campaigns? Nah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do a saint, too. Poor thing, there are no records of your body's blueprints, nor is it reasonable to assume your extreme adaptations are possible through natural means. Your body also appears to hold some form of data storage medium within it. Brave messenger, what are you? Ugh. I could read the data contained in your body, but the process could take several cycles. Time I very sadly lack. I could remove the pearl from you, but that process would be very unpleasant for you. I also do not believe the contents within are directed to me. If you are indeed a messenger, then I urge you to move on. When I did, I used death count because of curiosity. There is a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a. Uh. Mother, get up. Oh, dude. I, that's the first time I've heard that scream. Mom, get up. You're scaring me. <laughs> There's another like me near here. His name is Five Pebbles and he's a bitch. <laughs> Please hurry to his structure. I am unable to calm him. His excessive output is causing irreversible damage to my own structure. I do not know how long I will continue to even stand. There is an elevated cable linking our installations. Crossing that bridge is safer than attempting to scale five pebbles from the ground up. Hurry, little messenger. I'm trying. 
All right, there we go. I ended up with 600 deaths before even getting to the third gate. Insane? Damn. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you can't really, like, kill anything. But you'd think that added mobility would help. The cold, mostly. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, the heat mechanics are definitely gonna be something. Let me get my mouse off the fucking screen. The heat mechanics are definitely gonna be something to adapt to. Oop, technical spoiler. Ah, nah, I, I know, like, everything about, like, Rain World story and shit. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> like, I don't think I would have enjoyed the story if I let myself be unspoiled. I don't think I would enjoy the game if I let myself be unspoiled. I would have just gotten frustrated and shelved it entirely. It was only because of my just curiosity for the lore and shit that I managed to make it through here. Also, I really like that Moon is permanently keeping the gravity on so you can get up here. Okay, we good then? Yeah. Ugh. Though, I will say I kinda am... Story spoilers are one thing. Basic gameplay spoilers are one thing. Uh, but I think I kind... Like, with, like, uh, broader gameplay spoilers, I'm kind of... Dif different on, sort of, a bit. It's weird. Also, the rain is here. Wait, was there a, was there a shelter over here? No, there's a Karma Gate. Karma Gate. I'm gonna go ahead and arm myself real quick. I don't know what's on top of Moon. Maybe it's Sweet Streets. <laughs> What's on top of the box? Sweet treats of socks. Oh shit, it's the moon. It's her namesake. I can't wait for five mother spiders. Oh, there's a shelter. There we go. We ball belly. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess I guess when I say that, I mean just like kind of avoid like straight up backseating. I guess. Oh no! Holy shit! I have two passages. How? All right, one survivor is the other outlaw. The other's outlaw, ain't it? I think the other's outlaw. Yeah. I mean that works out. That makes that makes this entire trek like significantly easier. I had died to Lizor's 150 times, accidentally fell too far, another 150, and died to Cold Storm 300. It was pain. <laughs> hmm. I can only hope my journey will be a tad easier. <laughs> or my luck will be easier, because I had crazy luck on the last Rain World stream. Uh, my, my, uh, a viewer and friend, uh, Circuit Spaghetti was in here. And there was, there was the orange lizard sphere in Moon, and he was like, you are going to have such a rough time here. And, like, every time I got past it within, like, actual minutes. A Miros Vulture even showed up at one point, and he just got stuck. <laughs> I was good with Malem, but... I was good with uh, Malem, but not with Panic from Cole. Oh, them. I see what you're saying. I want food. There we go. I want good eats. Moon City is so pretty. It has a sphere. All cool and good cities have a random sphere in the middle of them. Dude, there are so many popcorn plants on top of Moon. <laughs> They're just like, you are going to get a full belly. And it will not be an issue whatsoever. For that, I am appreciative. Let us go up down Moon's Wall. I can't wait for 50 inconveniently placed white lizards. Well, there's an inconveniently placed orange lizard. I'm trying to gauge the situation a bit better. A 
Alternatively, eat. Perfect. I don't need food. I can grab whatever spears I want right now. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they're slowly decaying. Everything will be fine. How you doing, Rise? I'm doing all right right now, CC. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Uh, you at work or school right now? Oh, there he goes. <sighs> Don't be like him. He fell. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, how are things going for you? Nope, done with both. That's good. Ah. I hate you again. Oh god. Okay. Things are... Things are cooking. Things are cooking. Things are cooking. Things are cooking. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Bye. <laughs> I'm outie. Uh, yeah, I hope he can stick around for a bit, CC. Things are heating up. I will need um things. I don't know. I'll go back to talking like a person. <laughs> but I do hope things were good for you today. I suck at movement tech, so I'm a terrible at Riv. Rivulet's gonna be next. Um, On the word of circuit, I, uh... I decided it would be better to do Spearmaster first, because I didn't want to get used to Riv's movement. Uh. And uh, then get, like, kind of weirded out by Spearmaster. Also, how many pips does uh, Spearing a Surveyor Spearmaster give? I'm genuinely curious. I ain't going to try it, because I want to live right now, but... How am I back in the neural fucking terminus? Did I fuck up somewhere? Hold on, I got the map pulled up still. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I was supposed to take the karma gate. <laughs> Oh. All right, here's the thing. I have three passages now. <laughs> I think I'm going to use one of them. Just one of them. Just a single passage. I don't want. I don't want to go through a bunch of fucking orange lizards right now. It'll be fine. I only need two to play this campaign efficiently. If I'm thinking about it correctly. Uh. Uh. Okay. Enough looking at a body of dead lizard corpses. <laughs> the time has come for you to choose. Uh, <laughs> let's just go back up here, all the way back up here, please and thank you, <laughs> and, uh, pick up button, alright, there you go, but yeah, it does give one per spear, so it depends how much you stab it, uh, damn, I thought if you stabbed the center, it gave you, like, a lot, that's unfortunate. And how long it survives. So, I mean, they're good. They're good food. It's just they're gonna probably fucking kill you first because they're surveyors and they pick up stuff and you're in zero gravity and... Yeah.
All right, let's uh, let's take the right route this time. Fuck. Because I was, how I thought about the Rain World map was, essentially moons over to the right and fuck, moon is over to the right, and uh, pebbles is off to the left. That's how I was thinking about it in my head. <laughs> I got proven quite wrong here. Right, I'm just gonna throw boost over here. There you go. That's another great thing about Spear Master. Being able to spear boost as much as you fucking want is so fucking good. Yeet. Where the... What the... Kind of... That was disorienting. <laughs> I was very confused. I was like, wait, I... Where, where'd he go? I didn't realize that was just like the same geometry. Uh I have the mark of communication. I'm confused. Oh, the precipice is down there. I thought bitter air. I thought bitter airy was a. Uh, was a different part. My, how wrong I was. Yeah. I'm gonna take a sip real quick. Think about my life choices. Very smart. I'm very good at this video game, I promise. I'm, I'm extremely good at video games. <laughs> uh, I've accidentally glitch yeeted a Gorm and he fell on a red Lizor killing it. I don't know what a Gorm is. Not off the top of my head. I was grappling with him on my back. I think that's to Artie's area. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a go get stabbed by a scav snipe. All right, you take care of yourself, Skull. It was good to have you here. Ugh. You do whatever you need to do for the rest of this fine day. Me. I will go deal with the consequences of my hubris. Like an idiot. So fucking mad. <laughs> I just wasted a fucking passage, bro. I have to go down the wall again. I have to go down her wall again. Oh, Gourmand. Okay. Dude, like if if we want to talk if we want to talk about uh if we want to talk about fucking lizards doing crazy shit, um, I fucking have a clip on my YouTube that I edited a little bit of a cyan lizard fucking, like, throwing me into the ground at, like, Mach 8. <laughs> like, that motherfucker literally, like, grabbed me with his tongue, flung me down to the ground, and killed me with fall damage. It was the funniest shit in the world. But that, but that uh that clip is on my YouTube. It's as a short. It's also on he here on Twitch, but uh the clip is funnier because I put in funny explosion sound effects. <laughs> uh I forgot what it's called on Twitch though. On YouTube it's called Fling Lizards. Didn't leave yet, but I was doing Jolly with a 
Gorm player is saying, oh, I gotcha. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah. Still dead as fuck. <laughs> I would love to do Rain World co-op with people. It's just, you know, finding people and also Parsec being bad. Because I've done Parsec with Meryl when we played Super Smash Bros. Crusade. And apparently they were dealing with um, a lot of latency. I felt bad about that. <laughs> they kicked my ass towards the end of things, though. Foot dives be damned. They pulled out the Mecha Sonic. Why are you all in here? Why are you all in here? Why are you all in here? You don't know how to handle zero G. I do, bitch. I've been through this shit in multiple timelines. Fuck you gonna do. Oh, that's what you're gonna do. Gets pickpocketed at, gets pickpocketed of a pearl by a scab and despawns. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, let's get in the shelter before this guy decides to get some smart ideas. I will. I I absolutely fucking adore how scabs like the second they see you holding a pearl, just go like fucking go go catch an extendo arm on you. <laughs> In order to get it. I remember once I thought that they were, like, asking me to help them when they were falling. But it turns out they just wanted my pearl. Mm. This is hilarious, though. Please, I must get in here. There we go. <laughs> there are no orange lizards in Bossing Say. The game is having a stroke. Eh. <laughs> I need I need you to fall, Spearmaster. I need, I need you to act like the Lich from Adventure Time, or like you're being talked to by the Lich from Adventure Time, and I need you to fall. He's not listening. Yeah, I don't like the I don't like the sounds they make. Ugh. All right, there we go. Progress. Get up there, <laughs> please, for the love of God, get up there. We are approaching ad break time, to be honest. So I might pause the game here in a second so we can take care of that. Uh, I'm going to use the map. Let's see here. I'm in here. I'm going to have to go like down and around. And uh, that's a lot. I would rather, I I think it's best to just stick in moon for the time being till I see a shelter. Because I have enough food for another hibernation right now. Because of the, uh, because of the... Passage. That's what it's called. I'll probably use that. Oh, shit. We still got 10 minutes. Okay, I can make that. 
I can make that. We still got ten minutes. We still got ten minutes till I have to do Twitch things. I can do this. Where the fuck did you come from? How in the ever living fuck did they get over here? Dude, they want me dead. They're like a they're like a fucking scav kill squad, but for lizards. <laughs> Spearmaster, for the love of God. There we go. I got him to head down. We're good. Also, my eye has something in it, and I'm twitchy. There we go. God, this music is so fuck. This music is such a vibe, dude. I love it. This shit is fucking good. Hmm. Let's see here, just got out of there. My only option is to go down. Uh, I don't like navigating moon. I do not. It is very obnoxious. I could do without it. Mouse off the screen. There we go. Uh, I'm in the abstract convergence manifold. Is that good? Apparently, issue is I don't know where in the abstract. Oh, I know where I am. Okay. All right, all right. This is progress. This is progress. This is good. We go left. Like go up left. <laughs> the the point is, I'm getting somewhere. And that's what's important. <laughs> Point is, I'm getting somewhere and I'm not being shocked in the process. I would like to not be shocked in the process. It'd be very painful. I don't want to deal with it. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to swim in a straight line. See anything that looks like it could kill me yet? Uh, go up this way. Yeah, up left. Yeah, I gotta, like, wait. There we go. That's the way. Oh, hi. <laughs> I've been in here before. I know this place. <laughs> and I'd like to know the next place I need to go. Alright, so I went I went like up left. Now I'm in here. Okay, just go down here. Alright. I fuck with that. We take this, we take those. God.
There we go. <laughs> then I go to the left over here, I assume. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> like, I looked below me and I'm like, ah, death approaches. Understandable. Have a nice day. Um, where is this Karma Gate? It says it's over here. Looking for it. Wait, is it that fu- oh, oh my god, that's so dumb! Okay, this is gonna take a hot minute still. Yeah, this is gonna take a hot minute still. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go switch over to the waiting screen for the time being. Y'all go get a drink, a snack, go use the bathroom, stand up, stretch, do it all. Whatever y'all humans need to do, and we'll be back in just a minute. With that all being said, bye for now.
Howdy, howdy. We are back, and I have found our route, and it is fucking stupid, and I hate it, and I hate how this map was formatted. <laughs> so, how it looks on the map is they have, like, the Karmagate symbols, like, all the way off to the left. But the Karmagate is, like, sandwiched in between a bunch of other shit. It's, like, in the middle of a bunch of other shit, and, the, and, like, the text is, like, describing that one, but, like, the text is describing that. But it doesn't have, like, any, like, kind of, like, diagram or, like, line or whatever to indicate, like, oh, the Karma Gate's, like, actually over here. It, ju it just shows you, like, the Karma Gate, its requirements, and nothing else. Yeah, I am not a fan of that. I would prefer for us to not be in that situation. But I have to like go up here and then I have to like I have to take a really fucking weird route to get to this karma gate, alright? I don't like it. <laughs> I would never have found this well on map. I would have been wandering aimlessly for god knows how fucking long. Okay, so I'm up here. And to go down, then I go down again. And then I go left. So down, down, left. Down, down, left. Also, I have realized that I do not have any food pips, so I should probably take care of that. <laughs> like right now, instead of later, that'd probably be for the best. Hmm. Getting everything reoriented. Wait, hold up. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot where I'm supposed to go from this room. <laughs> yeah, down. Alright, so it's still down. Well, I'll drop it low. Like so. Why is shit? Boom. I was really expecting to die here. <laughs> yeah, now I need to like really keep an eye out for some more neurons to stab. My life depends on it. My ability to save and not have an aneurysm within the next five minutes is dependent on finding more neuron flies. There are no fucking neuron flies. This is unfortunate news. There we go. Just go through the karma gate for right now. Maybe there will be some something within like the entrance of this area that I can use. There we go. Just need to find a little bit of food. Just a few good eats. Just a quick trip to BK and back. Like so. There's the first eat. Now I need another. I need more. I need more eats. Uno mas. Uno mas munchies. This is definitely accurate Spanish. I definitely took a class four in high school and didn't take French like an idiot. <laughs> Where are the eats? Oh! Sir, I need you to come back here. Sir, I need you to come back here. Sir. 
Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. The cause. Making sure I wasn't a pole plant. There's a grenade. No, explosive spear. I need one more. Can I find an inconveniently placed pole plant? Just one. That's all I need. <laughs> oh, I see you arrived at Hellhole Central. Is it? Is it really Hellhole Central? Or are you lying to me again, Circuit? Also, welcome to stream. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm at the precipice. I talked to Moon. Uh, I learned how to read. And now I'm trying to get back. <laughs> I never lie. <laughs> really. The or the orange lizard sphere that was supposedly going to be the bane of my existence tells an entirely different story. Do I need to redirect you to that VOD circuit? Except when I do. <laughs> yeah. Just need to get into that shelter. Just need to get back to that shelter, and we will be good. We will be Gucci. Look, sir, that one was not a lie. I don't know. That one was streamer like I don't know. If we want to talk about streamer luck, we can talk about what is currently ongoing right now. This does not speak of luck to me. This speaks of my inevitable demise. Mmm, yes. The sweet sounds of the eerie music. And the dead blue lizard. And the comagate, mmm. Okay, maybe we have a little bit of streamer luck. <laughs> the sweet sounds of death coming upon this land, indeed. Indeed, second. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, how's your day been, Circuit? Hope you've been doing good. You came in at 8 o'clock. Clearly, I need to push my streams further into the day. The Nomad has been fairly okay. Well, I will do my best to try and make it good by subjecting you to the torture of my streamer luck. Clearly, that will make you happy. <laughs> uh. Also, I, I have to say I'm really glad, like, chat's being active. Not because, like, it's like, oh, man, people are watching my streams. No, because it confirms that I'm not, it, that my uh, stream quality is not, like, super laggy right now. Because I was concerned about that earlier. <laughs> yep. Yep. In we go. Come on. Scooter Patoot. Spear Master. My, the Brute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll just chalk that up to things that I should not have lived. <laughs> All right. Making my way to Pebbles. He's got five. And he's gonna make Moon die. Weep! Weep! I love how much the slug cats will just spaz out, like, in tunnels when they're in a weird way. I know better than to take the- OH SHIT! BRO! That man had fucking tunnel vision! 
That man saw me from fucking Hawaii. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's trying to come back. The vultures unluckily also know better than to wait for you to go up. I wish they wouldn't. Ah, yes. The, the pre sci piece. You should, like, fall. That'd be funny. Falling would be funny. Yeah, good fucking luck with the platforming here. Uh, I don't know if you haven't noticed, Circuit. I am, um, I'm, I'm like Rain World God. Everything kneels to me. Like that. <laughs> I've never had a single platforming incident in Rain World. This has never happened. Ever. Everyone knows I'm hot shit. Everyone, know Everyone knows I don't die in stupid ways. I don't got flung into the ground at Mach 5 by Cyan's. That never happens. Hello, egg bug. Thank you for your sacrifice. You do another. I need you to do another. Never jumped in that one pit in the gutter repeatedly. Yeah, never. Not once. Now you see, you see what those egg bugs did? They are not, they are not masters of platforming. Oh, hi. Bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time. Also, I see you, you piece of shit. Do you think that I'm fucking blind? Do you think I don't see your bitch ass? Do you think I can't make you vulnerable, hmm? Oh god. Bye. <laughs> I think I think he I think he just decided to leave. Good. Oh shit, he didn't decide to leave. You're a bastard. And I bet your mom doesn't love you. That's right, get your lizard GPS. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's right. Your hubris has come to haunt you, bitch ass. Motherfucker. Check this out. Bam! <laughs> Rainwald God right here. <laughs> I'm trash talker extraordinaire. Get that fucking rock out of my face. I don't need it. I have my ass. The ass is mightier than the rock. Oh man, I have to go up there. Or I have to go down here. Lame. The ass is mightier than the rock, exactly. Get Dwayne the Rock jo Johnson in here. I'll show him what true power is. Checking for whites. Uh, I don't like the vibrations my controller is doing right now. I would like to find a shelter, please. Please, Kay, and thank you. I've just decided to keep going left. I felt this is the optimal pro uh, way. Okay, there has to... Just because I feel like it. I'm coming for you still. <laughs> that was the shittiest fucking white lizard. That man took ten fucking years. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you got there. Like I brushed up against this guy, gave him a little pat on the head, and stabbed him. Okay, uh I'm gonna see what's in here. There we are. This is what we like to see. Ugh. You know, Circuit, it feels like you're, you have like anti, you, you're like the anti-jinx. Whenever you, you say something won't happen, the opposite happens. You're incredibly good for my Rain World gameplay. <laughs> you should show up more often. Hmm. What's next? You're gonna say we don't make it to Pebbles within the next 15 minutes? I have noticed this. <laughs> you are an irreparable boon to my content. <laughs> Unironically, Circuit, when the fuck are we gonna play Rain World together? <laughs> Probably after I beat all the campaigns, to be honest. I'm not sure- well, yeah, I could do Jolly Co-op on something. I'm just not sure what. I'm not sure what, what campaign we want to do Jolly Co-op on. Also, Parsec is a bitch. I caused some inner spite in people that makes them succeed. <laughs> There's not even spite for me. It's, it's just me trying to be funny. And failing, usually repeatedly. <laughs> Alright. Hello, Karma. The Karma I never receive. Yeah, the lag is the thing about it. Plus, you know, no computer. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> you have no computer right now. And also no microwave. I hope you get both these issues fixed. I mean, how else are you going to make food without your computer? Do you think anyone's genuinely attempted to, like, fry an egg, like, on, like, the heat of... Just using, like, the heat of their PC? Do you think that's happened? Hello there, Mr. Spider. So you're being a bitch. Uh, I don't see a point in using the shelter, given the Karma Gate is, uh... I don't see a point in using the shelter, given the Karma Gate, uh... Is a one -er. It works, the CPU just don't survive. I mean, yeah. Okay, I need to... I need to pull your corpse out. Hold up. Uh, come on. Come with me, buddy. I mean... There we go. I was thinking he might be alive for a second, I won't lie. Uh, I remember this area of pebbles. It's not fun. I, I, I'm I pretty sure... This was literally exactly where I died in Hunter once. And I saved the short of it. On uh on the YouTubes. On the, Ra on the Rye Bread 2 YouTube channel. You are the shittiest fucking white lizard. Goodbye. <laughs> also, sorry about killing you, Frank. It was for the greater good. It will be rewarded in the afterlife, indeed. American sniper in this bitch. Ah. Uh... Would the shelter be over this way? Also, how long is my cycle? Well, hold on. If I remember correctly. I do not remember correctly. I am stupid. The 
stories I have just having old spare computer parts and free reign over school equipment would surprise you. Tell me your stories, Circuit. Tell me the stories you have of all the eggs you have fried on high school computers. <laughs> I must know. This is important information. It will be on the test. I think I have to go that way. Damn it. Fucking... There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Well, you see, I was the IT guy of the school I went to, so wherever there was a problem, naturally, I was the one to solve it, computer related or not. I have a friend IRL that IRL that's like exactly the same way, pretty much. Like he was the IT guy of the school, and he's the IT guy in our friend group. Yeah, that's fine. Leave me alone. You have chosen to defy peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. Oh shit. Goodbye. <laughs> I made a heater of CPUs because it was too cold in my classroom. <laughs> uh dude, having having an actual like oh shit. Yeah, you're okay. Y you continue, buddy. <laughs> you continue on your merry way with that. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to the bottom of the leg right now. Yeah, I'm like I'm like just going to the bottom of the leg right now. Just not like the direction I want to go. <laughs> and I am, well, I actually have st I still have a good chunk of time. You sure are. <laughs> I forgot my way around the leg, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Did I just kill myself? I feel like that'd be more efficient. Yeah. Goodbye, crew world. Fuck. Hello, sir. I am accepting my fate. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you really don't. I don't. I never go to underhang. I always go to wall. I always take wall. Every time. I'm a wall guy. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, fuck. Which way did I go out of here again? This way. Not this way. My man got too used to the easy wall life. I did. I'm sorry for not being a masochist. Ignore the fact that I play Rain World. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't torture myself while I torture myself. Look, my guy. BDSM has its limits, okay? My safe word is the wall. <laughs> like, 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 if we, if, like, if we go to underhang, I'm screaming the wall. All right, let's get over here. Uh, okay. Obviously, I go down here. <laughs> Notes this information down for later use. <laughs> go ahead, do it. Make me clippable. Make me clippable. Give me content. Give me clout. That's totally what I'm here and streaming for. Having fun. 
living living my childhood dream of making content that I can be proud of. Nah, man, I'm just I'm just here for the popularity. I'm here for the women and the men. Even though I'm not bi. I mean, I'll take I'll take that, I guess. <laughs> that was not intentional. I don't know what I hit. Oh, I hit Frank again. <laughs> I hit Frank again. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Here for that sweet, sweet number, go up dopamine. And exactly. <laughs> the, I'm here for that number, go up dopamine. I don't look at the number. <laughs> I have not looked at my viewer count like since stream started. Mostly because I hovered over it by accident. I have it hidden. Bye, dumbass. Uh, okay. Um, I guess I go over here. There's some sections of the map that I just feel like are just designed to waste your time. This is one of them. Just this kind of like loop around. Like, it's just designed to make it so you die maybe a little easier. All you get is a maybe, baby. I'm too good. Also, do, does stabbing a neuron fly give me neuron glow? Because I feel like I have neuron glow now. Do I need Frank? Do I need a Frank right now? I'm unsure. That's actually really cool. Because I did stab a neuron fly earlier. You indeed do get Neuron Glow. That's that's actually really cool. <laughs> no! That's not the way I wanted to go. I want to go grab my buddy Frank. We're going to go on adventures together. Frank. Good old Frank. He's an icon in the, ri in the Rise of Your Two lore. <laughs> Like, I'll add him to the v 2 b Fucking watch. <laughs> Dude, thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. You can't stop me and Frank. You can stop me and Frank. I've heard like five dongs in the span of five minutes. <laughs> Okay, so when I said nothing can stop me and Frank, I just meant nothing can stop Frank specifically. <laughs> just Frank. And only Frank. Exclusively Frank. <laughs> the fucking two jump scared me, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, not a lot of people have redeemed, like, the, the uh, tits redeems, so... Like one of my friends does it like every time he comes in. But that's about it. <laughs> so I'm not used to it yet. And I'm just waiting. Yeah, I guarantee you at least one person who does pop into my stream is just waiting for there to be multiple people to activate the spam redeem. No one ever redeems the tits redeems, exactly. I mean, if we want to get technical, my tits are always out. <laughs> my man tits are always out because, like, my pecs are in both forms. They're part of the, they're part, like, all the fur and stuff kind of, like, just seeps out from under them in the animation for switching between Sybil and Feral. So, like, yeah. <laughs> You've heard of dicks out for Harambe. Get ready for tits out for Frank. <laughs> and you know what? Frank deserves it. <laughs> Why are there two? I know it's iconic, but... Okay. <laughs> 
Where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you go, friendo? Yeah, I got tits out for Frank. Here he is. Good old Frank. We're gonna take on we're gonna take on the world with Frank. We shall get eh, so many bitches. Me and Frank. Come. Face me and Frank. You dare take on me and Frank. Want to die? Me and Frank are unstoppable. Bitch. Let's ignore what happened last time. That was a defective Frank. This Frank is different. This Frank's cool. He, um... He plays Chibi Robo. That's the coolest thing anybody can do. <laughs> this Frank is Frank here. What you are telling me is you are literally always naked on a job. Don't phrase, don't phrase it like that. <laughs> we can't let Twitch know. I don't think they'd care to be honest. I've like even in the like even if we factor in the fact that I am a male, um, I genuinely do not think Twitch will care that much about the fact that my model is. Technically, just wearing his body. Because it's not... It's not like being suggestive. Unless you're a monster fucker. Which is kind of a demographic we sort of appeal to. Just a little bit. I don't think Twitch cares when Junior... Exactly. I even made... Dude, I even made a meme about it. Hold on. Let me find it. Let me find the meme. <laughs> I sent it to Alex. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. Yeah. Copy link. Uh, go in here. I literally made a meme about like just how many coins it. Like, I want everyone to bear in mind, I made my design long before Junie's current model. So before anyone accuses me of like copying, like it, you're wrong. <laughs> Juniper copied me, but like. <laughs> Fellas, if your Juniper has digigrade feet, does weird mouse shit, and is getting away with nudity on Twitch by technicality, that's not Juniper. That's Ryzeer. That's me. <laughs> it's your boy right here. I can't believe you copied Juni. I did not copy Juni. Juni copied me. I, I, the inspired has become the inspirer. Totally. 100%. Uh, Junie totally knows who I am. One hundred percent. Uh, nah. <laughs> Bro, I, I would. I, it would be hilarious if just like any like, I like not even just Juniper, just like any like big VTuber just like happens to just like watch me. It's just like, oh man, it, it's time for the rye bread stream today. I'm so excited. Look at look at this guy go. Look at this guy grow. He's gonna do big things someday. Him and Frank. Him and Frank together. That'd be hilarious to me. I'm having to think of... Oh my god, y'all again. Okay, that, that lizard getting fucked up. You know what would be a funny thing? What? What if you were Junie Circuit? <laughs> That'd be funny. I mean, I know it's not the case because I've literally watched you stream, but... <laughs> Boy, these guys are getting fucked up by the spitter spider. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Like, everyone's just taking L's from the spitter spider. Uh, checking the time.
Uh, there was like one guy on Twitch that averaged like 20 viewers and never grew, but every single one of those viewers were big streamers. That would be funny. That's actually a really funny thought. I would love to see that just be an actual like thing. Oh my god, I had to. What is it with these orange lizard spheres? I don't get it. Bye. Bye. No, Frank, save me. Frank. No, they took Frank! <laughs> They took Frank! Uh, I'm not dead yet, technically. We're gonna see where this goes. Holy shit, you have to go through all of this. Okay, now I'm dead. My god, I don't remember the underhang being... Like, even on Hunter, I don't remember, like, most of those. Hmm. I feel like the most annoying part is starting from here every single time. <laughs> Even though it's a really short trek and a really short karma gate and, like, my cycle is extremely generous, it's still very obnoxious. There's, like, three paths through the underhang. I'd, ra I'd rather be taking a different one. <laughs> oh, hello, Scavs. I'm friendly! Bastard! I have done nothing wrong. All of you leave me alone. A lot of them involve lizard balls one way or another. Ugh. I hate lizard balls. Hmm. You know, something that lives rent free in my head. A meme that just lives rent free in my head is, uh, is the fucking, like, that looks like the battle pass meme. It's like that. <laughs> it's just like, that looks like the battle pass. That looks like the battle pass. That's what I'm saying. Google, show me this guy's balls. Whoa. <laughs> I fucking love that meme. That meme's hilarious to me. Everyone hates lizard balls. They are too big. <laughs> It's a good thing I am a lizard that has no balls. No, no, uh, dude, it's fun. It, it's like genuinely fun. It's like genuinely hilarious. Look it up. Just look up Battle Pass. Or something. Just look up Battle Pass meme. It's genuinely funny as shit. I love it. It's an it's a kind of old meme, but it it, it, it just it lives rent free for me. How dare you tempt me with Frank, you piece of shit. You will burn for this. You are going to burn for this. Damn fucking right. Fuck you. Tempting me with the life of my best friend. My companion, who has never gotten me killed in trying to in trying to keep him alive once. Unironically, I'm wondering if I would be doing better without Frank. <laughs> Occasionally, he feels like a liability. Most competent white lizard. This man wants me. Ugh. I cannot imagine going through underhang without the worm or being arty through. God, Artificer was fun up like it with the exception of the final area. Like uh Artificer was an incredibly fun campaign. 
I disagree with Das Zombes's uh, tier list with what he said about Artificer. I had fun. Even with the scavs, I had fun. Uh, look at this fucking guy. Welcome in, Ellie. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Uh, is the hangout still uh, going on in uh, the Big Butts Brigade uh, chant uh, server? Sorry I couldn't have joined in. It's just I knew I was going to have to stream soon, and also I had some other things to do, so I really didn't participate. <laughs> Hang out with the guys. Ah, uh, that's good. <laughs> Tell, tell him I say hi. Tell him me and my buddy Frank, we say hi. Currently. Gotcha. I need to stream again. You should stream again. We should, we, we should find a game to play. Oh, God. I don't like this. <laughs> I mean, that's one way. I mean, that's one way to deal with a spider. <laughs> Alright. So, what I kind of want to happen... Yeah, this. This is what I want to happen. Or not. You know what, fuck it, we're taking the lizard balls. Run back to the lizard balls. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Everyone loves the lizard balls. Frank, get back here. Wait for it. Right there. <laughs> Any ideas on what you could start streaming again, Ellie? I'd love to do another collab with you. I like I liked our uh Pokemon Scarlet Violet one. This is a shame we had so many technical difficulties, but that shouldn't be an issue in uh this round. Cause I got a better PC now. For him now. God damn it. I'm always a little short. Alright. I'm gonna try something stupid. My stupidity is currently winning. <laughs> My stupidity appears to have won. Hey, yo. Are we fucking gaming right now? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that area. I don't like what I just saw. I don't want to go over there. He is pointing me to shelter. I would like to take it. I don't want to take that one. Uh. Upsy daisy. All right, you better be point. This one better lead to the shelter. Seven red suns, or I'm gonna be mad. Oh uh, yeah, this leads to a shelter. I know this area. Unfortunately, I know this area. It's not a fun area. Fuck, I forgot how to get up here. 
Uh. All right, how's my cycle first? Risky is shelter to rest at the base game. Tell me about it. Uh, fuck it. I'm looking up a map. I'm looking up a map of, uh, I'm going to look up a map of pebbles real quick. Ugh. Also, what is the time until the next ad? 13 minutes down. I don't want to go down. <laughs> I don't want to go down. I don't want to go down on pebbles, man. Uh, five pebbles. Uh, the exterior. There we go. Uh. Yeah, I'm I'm in this one. Oh shit. Okay. I see. But that still begs the question of how I get up there. Whatever. For right now, I will just take it. Um, let me get back on this. Just gotta go down on 5p. I don't. <laughs> I don't wanna. Leave that for shippers. Alright, here we are. I, at the bare minimum, don't want to go through the lizard balls again. So, uh, yeah. I've got one free... I've got one free attempt. To get through here because of the karma flower. And I also got, like, one more stomach full of food. So I got, like, three tries to get up here. The issue is, I forgot how to get up here. <laughs> Because I remember... Oh, wait. I remember. I know how to get up there. All right. It doesn't really show it on the map. A unfortunate dev is way... Unfortunate development is way easier right now. That's good. That's very good. I don't like... A, nobody likes unfortunate development. Are there any uh, DLLs there yet? I forgore. I forgore if the DLLs are present yet. Go ahead and uh, get out here first before I wind up sleeping again. I would not. I would not want that. Ugh. I don't know. I used the wall to get to pebbles in my spear master run. You piece of shit! You told me to take the moon route. I listen to you, and this is how you repay me. <laughs> you out here fucking, like, grilling me for my choices. And you go and tell me you did the exact same fucking thing. <laughs> how fucking dare you? <laughs> This is why Frank is my best friend and not you, Circuit. Frank is reliable. Frank is always by my side. Frank never gets me into trouble, ever. Not once. Can I say when I do it, it's the correct choice? Oh no, don't be sad, Circuit. I love you. <laughs> I love you, Circuit. Please don't be sad. <laughs> that being said, Frank is still the GOAT. Just objectively. Alright, get my ass up here. Uh, it's time to remember where in the fucking hell there is. Oh, there's a shelter. Yay. Kuh. Progress. Ugh. Alright, now that we're in pebbles, I honestly feel like we're in a good position 
to go ahead and take our ad break for the moment. It just feels like a good place to go. Because I know we're... I do not think we're going to get to Pebbles within eight minutes. Before the next one has to play. So I will go ahead. Get us onto the waiting screen. Y'all go get a snack. Get a drink. Y'all use the bathroom. Stand up. Stretch. Do whatever y'all humans need to do. And we will be back in just a minute. Bye for now.
We return once again. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you had a good break. Hope you had a good stretch or whatever the hell you did. Or maybe you just sat there like a couch potato. Hmm? Am I calling you out? Hmm? Am I, am I struggling to remember where the fucking music is in my taskbar? Because I have like 50 applications open right now. Yes, I am. Don't fucking think about it. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, hope everyone had a good break. Let us go ahead, get back to some rain world. Hopefully we can get a new hole put in our chest. Uh, I keep opening the wrong shit, because once again, I have 50 million things open. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Ah, back to the grind. Need to clean up your peripheral real shit, sir. Look, man. Everything I have open right now is necessary for the stream right now, okay? I have my browser open for Twitch. I have Discord open, that's probably the most unnecessary thing, but shut the fuck up. Uh, OBS, duh. I have VTube Studio. I have Voice Meter to run my voice through uh, my microphone so it sounds better. Even, because even though this is a pretty solid mic, like it, it's still like a $40 mic, I want it to sound a little better. I got tits so you can throw shit at me. I have Audio Mimi, which is surprisingly this stream been very, very stable. I have not had to reconnect it once, I'm kind of scared. Uh, I have shoes so I can have that outlined around my model. I have mix it up so y'all can like redeem a bunch of other shit in regards to like model toggles and stuff and making Christmas come early. I have Steam because I'm playing a fucking Steam game. I have my system settings so I can connect my controller to Bluetooth in case something goes wrong. And then of course I have Rain World open. Everything here is necessary right now, sir. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Spearmaster wants blood. I now shall return to death by scav. I almost died to scavs. There was a group of scavs. Welcome back, Skull, by the way. <laughs> Hope you had a good time doing whatever you were doing. Every day I wake up and I am thankful I am not a VTuber. Well, you know what? My PC is powerful enough for it, anyways. I, I bought, like, an Omen PC and, like, yeah, it's pre-built. Fucking sue me. Catacris' video on building PCs scared me from ever doing it myself because of all the shit he went through. And it does its job. It does its job fine. I have three sticks of RAM. I hope to get a fourth one at some point. There is a fourth on my throne. Um, I put that there to help with that. I, if I never get it through throne, I'll just get it myself someday. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I have three sticks of RAM. <laughs> I have three sticks of RAM in there. So I have, like, 38 gigabytes. That means I enter just to say that I now die again. Ah, uh, I gotcha. <laughs> Well, it's good that I, it was good to see you back for just a second. Enjoy your enjoy your death skull. I, I hope they are as painless as possible. <laughs> Why are you so appalled? I have three. Are you more used to two or four circuit? Because the computer came at one, and then uh, me and a friend uh, split a two back because he wanted to get that as like my Christmas present. It was my IT friend that I told you about earlier, actually. And now I still got I still got one there. I still got one slot open for uh, one more stick of RAM. So I have a single stick of RAM on my throne right now. <laughs> uh, knowing the right mind uses odd numbers of RAM. Well, you know what? 24, I mean, 36 is a better number than 24, so shut your damn whore mouth. <laughs> uh, uh, bleh. There's something else I wanted to think about. Oh, yeah. this I was just reminded. Do I have my throne? Uh, yeah, I do have the throne browser source open. Sometimes I wonder if... I mean, I always check my throne periodically just to see if maybe somebody did something off stream. But sometimes I worry that like somebody will like donate something to my throne and the like throne redeem like won't go off. Mm. But who knows? Mm. Not that the throne is necessary or anything. I mean, I do put, like, non-frivolous shit on there. I could never really get myself to put something, like, that I felt, like, had no benefit to the stream whatsoever. I refuse to do that. Because <laughs> I would feel bad. Like, everything on there right now is, like, this will help the stream. I'm pretty sure everything on there is like that, at least. Put the Pentagon in there. The whole, the whole Pentagon? The whole United States government? I don't want the government in my streams. Have you met me? The whole Pentagon? <laughs> you want all five sides of that shit, motherfucker?
You want the whole polygon? What's next? You gonna make that shit 3D? How much would it cost to buy out the Pentagon? <laughs> Assuming it's even possible. Somebody play the moon theme from DuckTales, please. You're right, unfortunate development is nothing. Probably more than the White House. Probably. Uh. Now, I know how much it would cost. <laughs> you know what? No, I'll refrain from that joke. I'm gonna refrain from that joke. I'll I'll be I'll be I'll be I'll I'll be fine today. I'll be nice. Coward. Look, man. I I've just I've just I've just had some good points brought up to me and I would like and I have interest in being like less of an asshole. So I don't want to like encourage that. <laughs> uh. All right, there we go. God. Spearmaster. You need to learn how to stretch. Yeah. On. That was the wrong way. There we go. But no, I I I I play I play a little I play a little nice with my humor today. Just a little bit though. I completely forget how to navigate five pebbles. Because I never come here, because the wall is better. The wall is a better route, and nobody can change my mind. I don't think anybody wants to change my mind, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think anybody looks at going through five pebbles and thinks, Man, I sure want to get eaten by a daddy long legs today. <laughs> can you believe that the first time I played Hunter, I planned unfortunate development as part of the route? Because I thought, if I go through unfortunate development, I don't need to worry about the rain. So I don't need to use shelters. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I think at one point I went through unfortunate development. No way. I think I'm thinking of Gourmand. I'm pretty sure I took the wall for a uh, hunter. Okay. There, there's some, what the fuck are they called? Like beta long legs or something. Okay. Bad news. I have no food. I need food. Proto long, proto long legs. It was like something. It was something like weird. No. <laughs> okay, is there food down there? Is there food down here? Like just, just like a line of neuron plies or something. I'll take anything. No. <laughs> Understood. I only remember because I made a Twitch bot that had the na a name inspired by those things. Ah, I gotcha. Uh. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna try. Just... Left or right? Fuck. <laughs> All right, five pebbles and fortunate development. Uh, all right. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. 100% going right. 500% going right. Right and up. Thank you. Oh, God. Okay, it's dead. It's dead, Proto Long Legs. Got it. I have a plan. It's a dumb plan, but it is a plan. <laughs> I 
It is a plan. It is a bad plan, a dumb plan even. But it is, in fact, a plan, and I'm going to take it. <laughs> if it works, it's not a bad plan. Accuracy by volume, exactly. <laughs> the best part is he doesn't seem to understand where they're coming from. So I feel like I could just grind this guy for food. It's gonna take a bit, but it's gonna work. Why did I stop being in gravity? I just fucked myself. Or not? I'm confused! Oh, yep, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> or not. Oh, yep, that's it. <laughs> A brother in Christ's popcorn plants at the top. Where? In fucking five pebbles? I know they're on top of five pebbles. But inside? Yeah, that route is like five pebbles express. Mm. Oh, too late now. Takes you right to Pebbles. Yeah, it does. Ugh. All I need is scratch my ear. The best part about the new mic is you cannot hear every single time I move my headset. Isn't that nice, everybody? <laughs> you all don't have to you all don't have to have your eardrums obliterated every time I move my head. I did, I, I spent that $40 for you, chat. You know, it's good that I died because I forgot to bring Frank with me. And you know, if I don't have Frank, why even live? God, I wish I had that, but I wish I had that, but so people could not hear me readjusting in my chair. Uh, you can in voice meter. I've set up a noise gate so that uh, get the fuck out of here. Uh, I have a noise gate set up, so it only really tends to activate the mic in response to like my voice, and it doesn't really respond to much else. Combine that with OBS is just uh in. In um, OBS's uh, built-in noise suppressions, and this is how I got my audio quality. I can link you the video I actually like, because I have certain uh, pre-made settings that a guy on YouTube who is far more fluent in audio than I will ever be, um, uh, he like made a video and uh, some downloadable settings. To uh, make my mic sound the way it does right now. And it, it does wonders. Oh, I also do that by I'm like constantly moving so while I'm talking and it's so audible. Mm. Have you tried some WD-40? <laughs> I mean, it's either that or buy a new fucking chair. be <laughs> this guy <laughs> oh yeah you're in brazil do you, it, it, do they not have wd-40 in brazil is that a north america only thing do you not have like an equivalent 
Like, this is a genuine question. <laughs> it's always hard to know what's... We probably have a version of it, yeah. All right, wait for it. That was the worst way. <laughs> that was awful. Uh, you would think this chair has been to a war zone. My chair is fucked beyond belief, gotcha. You know what, Frank? This is your new home now. I hope you enjoy it here. You got this, buddy. I believe in you. All your dreams can come true. Yeah. Uh, like, is there anything specific that happened to the chair? Oh, girl. Oh, God. You know what? I just remembered. I just remembered a fucking, like, meme. <laughs> uh, it's the Sonic Unleashed intro. And, um, it's Sonic. And, and, like, Sonic's in Super Sonic. And Eggman's, like, begging for his life. Like, I, I'll turn over a new leaf. I promise I'll change. And then Sonic just goes, My squeaky gaming chair. And it's just like, What? My chair. It's got a little squeak. Could you fix it? <laughs> I, I'm just warning you. It's got a little squeak. <laughs> it's actually really funny. It was a sequel to it too, but it wasn't as funny. God, that's such a curse, man. I feel like every like viral video that gets a sequel is just doomed to it like not being as good. It doesn't happen all the time. I watched uh, Pymation's uh, Five uh, Five Nights at Freddy animations, and like every one that came after was like better than the other. Like, but like things like that, like really like one note jokes, I feel just don't wind up being as good in the long term. Fuck. Sequels just don't work out for memes. Yeah, but like more elaborate things, they work. But for, like, really one-note stuff like that, it's just, like, bleh. <sighs> Making my way downtown. Way downtown. Way downtown. Way downtown. I mean, for animations, it works just because you know their animations. I mean, that and... Uh, I don't know. Tuh. I mean, I guess there's also stuff like... Well, they aren't really sequels, though. They're all, like, they all build off each other, but they're not really sequels. I was going to say, like, Solid JJ stuff is, like, little voice things. There is an ongoing, uh, series. I might get some flack for, like, even, like, daring to say, like, some of the shit and this is, like, funny. But there's a series of, like, Mortal Kombat 1 like, AI voice intros. And, like, the scripting and, like, continuity between them is, like, it kind of really funny to me. Though it is starting to reach a point where I feel the guy is starting to run out of some material. So we'll see how it goes from there. But, like, as of right now, like, the, the just the jokes are, like, really funny. Like, like I'm not even going to say anything about, like, the AI-generated part of it. God, fuck, no, I'm go not going to give an opinion on, like, that. But, like, the scripting, it it it's pretty funny. <laughs> the jokes are funny. I like the jokes. <laughs> mm. uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, so... Yeah. You know what I'm realizing? What are you realizing? What are you realizing, oh circuit spaghetti? I must know. I never really been into fandoms where care. I never really been too into fandoms where the characters talk. Like game, like game series where there's talking. Like where there's dialogue. Oh, why? Alright, I'm gonna try something. I 
I desperately need this. I, I, I'm just going to assume he's stuck there. Bye. I have a great time. Alright, there we go. Yeah, normally when I like a gamer show enough to go out to consume means it coincides with the characters that don't talk. Like, Rain World, no one talks there. So it's just spoken dialogue? You have no qualms with, like, written dialogue? Because Rain World has written dialogue. There's not a lot of it, but, like, it's there. I'm genuinely curious about this. <laughs> uh, oh, that was actually smart of me. Not even that sometimes. Interesting. I mean, I can see the appeal in, like, preferring stories with that aren't, like, super story heavy. Or games that aren't super story heavy. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Alone. Leave me alone. Let me in. Let me in. Why would I not go in? Why was I not permitted in? What the fuck? I actually got fucking... I'm actually pissed at that. I'm genuinely fucking pissed at that. That actually pissed me off. I literally, like, was right there. And the game just said no. <laughs> the game literally just said no. Oh my god, I'm actually really mad at that. I'm really fucking pissed at that. That made me genuinely upset. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> God, that actually, I'm, I'm looking for another route now. I'm gonna look for another route. I don't care where I need to go. Fuck unfortunate development. <laughs> I'll go through Recursive Transformer, eh? Fuck it, we're taking a Recursive Transformer, eh? I don't fucking care. That made me mad enough. <laughs> I am mad enough at that. That is so fucking horseshit. How much of Junie's Rain World playthrough did you watch? Um, I tuned in a couple of times. I never saw her get to five pebbles, though. I think I the last I watched her was Garbage Wastes. I think that was the last point that I watched her. Judy went fucking insane at Unfortunate Development. I mean, who wouldn't? It's Unfortunate Development. This truly is the Unfortunate Development of all time. Okay, so like I went that way. I'm going up. I guess just go up. God. She broke like a twig. I mean, yeah. She was breaking like a twig in outskirts, bro. But I mean, that's kind of what's going to happen when you're... You have no fucking knowledge of the game. Like, that's... I fully... Stand behind my choice to. I fully and 100% stand behind my choice to, uh, going in, in, into Rain World a little spoiled. I stand behind it 100%. Uh,. Man, I, I'm not sure where I am right now. I mean, up there is, like, the room. 
Okay, I, I, I see where I'm going. Oh, wait, but... Mm. Yeah, it's an issue. That is an issue. I hate how you were steamrolled into unfortunate development. But fuck you, game. After that room, nah. -uh. I do believe Rain World is a game that benefits from getting some info from world word of mouth. Oh yeah, absolutely. There is just too much in this game that is not told to you. Like way too much. Like there is a reason that the devs decided to patch in like loading screen tutorials in uh remix. There is a reason they did that. All right, we're going we're going we're taking another way. <laughs> Cuz I am I I am pissed at that beyond comprehension. I am genuinely fucking pissed and I will take a different route. Okay, so going down I have to go over to the left. Ugh. That just... Ugh. That's gonna leave a bet. All it takes is one bad proto long leg. It wasn't even a proto long leg, dude. It was It was just... The, the game would not let me go in there. Anything I touched during that period was... Dead proto long legs. I did not touch a single actual proto long legs during that. Getting some food while I'm here. Like, I just, I was at the door and it just wouldn't, I was at the pipe and it just wasn't letting me in. But it would, the proto, the proto long, it was a daddy long legs. It was a daddy long legs that grabbed me. It wasn't a proto. Let's not anger the surveyor right now. Like the daddy long legs, he fucking came for my ass because I couldn't get in the fucking. Because I couldn't get in the fucking pipe for some reason. Like he heard me and he was coming for me. Spearmaster saw the door right there and he decided not to go in it. Believe it or not, those are considered protos because they are attached to the walls. Huh. Interesting. This is valuable information. Thank you, Circuit. Ah, yes. Free eats. Dude, the game's lagging so much right now. I want to try and fill up my belly. A suspicious amount of lag. I don't like that you say that. I don't enjoy that you're saying that to me. Also, my ear itches again. Man, I'm glad I took the wall route. Man, I I wish. I I sure it sure would be nice if I took the wall route at some point. It'd be really like silly. If like if like someone who who took the wall route and thought the wall route was better, um, it told 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 a streamer, a rain world a rain world streamer to uh to not do that 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 would be crazy. That 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 would just be that would, that would just be wild, one eight circuit. That would just be wild if somebody just did that. Just did that to somebody. Would it be? And you don't need the wall route. You, 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 you sure seem to be praising it a lot, Circuit. You ever think about this? You, you ever... You ever... You ever think? You ever... You ever think, Mark? You ever think? You ever think to yourself? You ever think to yourself, Circuit? You ever think you're safe? You think you're safe, Circuit? You think... 
Ever think about that? Hmm? I never think. You know what, fair. Neither do I. <laughs> uh, Alright. Turn that off. And get back to the feud. <laughs> uh, I love fooling around in OBS in the middle of a stream. It's funny. It's funny when it hits. Mm. Making my way downtown. Way downtown. So I've never been through a recursive transformer ray, so uh this will be interesting. Um, you know, I don't even have to go through recursive transform array. Also, there's a shelter in this room. And I'll probably go there. But I could, like, go left from here. Go up. I mean, I go right from here. Go up. Go right. And I can be in memory conflux. Yeah. I don't have to go through unfortunate development. I think most people don't even know this part of 5P exists. I mean, it, it, like I said, dude, you get fucking railroaded. Like, if you just take the first pipes you see, you get railroaded into, into unfortunate development. I'm looking at the map right now. Uh, there are no thoughts in the head, only walls. <laughs> just like me, for real, for real. Uh... Hello there, Mr. Surveyor. I have not eaten a single neuro neuron fly, I promise. Not a single one. Oh, God. <laughs> he says as he glows. Yeah, I, I, I was just born this way, dude. You, you gonna... You gonna... Uh, Resent me for my birth. Kind of a dick move. A dick move won't lie, Chief. I'm just gonna. Go, I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> He's clogging up the pipe. Oh now. Oh now you, you fucking bastard. Piece of shit. I hate you. Go go gadget extendo arm spear master. Come on. You literally have pointy bone things come out your ass, and you're telling me you can't like extend your arms like a, a, a centimeter. Get in there. Get in there, buddy. There we go. There we go, Spear Master. You see that? That's the goal. That's the shelter. That's where you go to have your belly be filled. Now sleep in zero G's like an astronaut. <laughs> we do not have space food or a good view of the planet, though. So you're like a really you're you're a really shitty astronaut. <laughs> uh. Uh. Also, I was pinged in Discord. What for? I need to make sure it's not important. It's not important. I don't think. Is my tracking all right? On. I, it seemed like my mouth wasn't, like, opening a lot. This happened during Link's Awakening last week, and it pissed me off. All right, we're fine. We're we're all right. We're all right. <laughs> Never mind. Everything is okay. Everything is normal. Everything is good. Sleeping in zero-G can't be comfortable. Oh, probably not. Though, people sleep in, like, those sensory deprivation tanks, though, right? Like, people, like, take naps, or are they just, like, meditating? I, I, I would imagine it's kind of similar. Thank you for feeling me up, sir. I will, I will always remember this feeling. I will remember you in my dreams and do everything in my power to not press the X button right now. I mean, there's still matter you can feel pushing you in those forms of water i suppose zero g though you just kind of float there oh no there has somebody's have to have just asked an astronaut this question right 
Just like, what's it like sleeping with no gravity? What's it like knowing you are one air leak away from spontaneously combusting? <laughs> Does it feel good? I have to wonder what these like noodly things with what looks like rot on the end. I have to wonder what those things like actually are, what their purpose is. The please. What's it like knowing that a singular loaf of bread would destroy your existence? <laughs> I am that loaf of bread. I am rye bread, don't you forget it. All right, uh, from here goes up, right. Yeah, up, right, up. Right, up, up, left. Oh, wait. No, I need, no, it would be right, up, up, right. It would be right, up, up, right. And then we'll be in memory conflux. Yeah. Also, another thing that Rain World definitely benefits from, uh, using the map online instead of the one in game and just figuring things out from there. There has never been a point in my life where I regretted using the map in this game. Not once. It's only a positive to my experience. Because then it's not. Because then it's not like bullshitting around until I actually find where I need to go. Like if I know where I need to go, then it's just all my raw skill past this point. I liked mapping things out in my brain, though, except the gutter. <laughs> my man hates the gutter. The gutter can go fuck itself. You know what? Given it kind of made me have to reset, I can agree with you. However, now we get to hear uh, Five Pebbles uh, rant. Like he's a QAnon user on 4chan, essentially. <laughs> oh my god. Please. <laughs> Spearmaster, please. Spearmaster. I'm begging. Get the fuck up there. Your master. I want to know what kind of fucks with me a little bit. Um, when I went to set Rain World as my uh, stream topic for the day, um, it was like 19 viewers for Rain World, and I feel like I feel like that kind of shows that Rain World's kind of, like as a fad because it kind of had like that surge in popularity this year. But I feel like it's kind of dissipated at that point, and that kind of makes me sad. This game is so good. People should play all the time. But oh well. I will live. Fuck. Get over. Spearmaster. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Surveyor. I am not glowing. Whatever you think is happening is wrong. Time for... <laughs> time for ear rape jump scare. Yeah, I guess it's because as people be it will not reason to stream anymore. Yeah, I mean there is mods. There is mods, but that's like only for like the hardcore people. I plan to do modded Rain World after I beat all the campaigns. That's always been the plan. It's just, you know, getting to that point. Memory conflux, and then from here I go up and then right. I think. See if I can't get some nom noms. There's one. <laughs> Just give it time. Mods are fun, but man, after Saint, burnout starts to send in. To be honest, I was getting some burnout, like, even right now. There's a reason I did Like, on top of, like, the model, I took a long break because I did want a bit of a break from Rain World. This game can get exhausting to go through a million times. Like, I can only take... Like, minor map changes can only carry things so much, you know?
And like the the, the uh, extra slug cats are like cool as well. But it 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 really is still just this whole thing of It really is just like they the content just can't carry it eternally if you play it like from survivor all the way through sync. When Downpour first came out, that's a different story entirely. Doing the four slug four new slug cats, yeah, that, that that's easy as shit. But like doing all all of that and Survivor and Hunter, we don't talk about Monk. Uh different story entirely. Burnout is gonna happen. Burnout does happen. <laughs> it happened to me. <laughs> Hell, some people are burned out just after Survivor. So I do think breaks are important for Rain World. In fact, I would not be surprised if after Rivulet, I take another break before I finish off Saint. It's possible. It'll happen. I see a lot of people burn out on Artie. Yeah, that's probably... Like, bruh. <laughs> for as fun as Artie is... <laughs> those scabs are brutal in there. Especially in the final area. I have a clip of my pure fucking anguish at one point. Hell, you've probably seen it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Eh. So much shit. One thing I've been very interested... One thing I found very interesting going through Moon and Five Pebbles is just how much... Like, how much stuff in the in the iterators is not rot? Because, like, these little blue things right here, you I thought they were rot, but, like, they were in Moon, too. So, it's like, these are just iterator things. Iterator things. However the fuck you want to pronounce it. I say iterator. Distant Gods is such a good song. That's what this one's called, right? Distant Gods... Regardless, it's a good song. Random Gods, that's what it's called. Yeah. Father, I need a hole put in my chest. Hi. Sons? Why did you send the messenger here again? Please leave. I cannot afford any further distractions. I'm the only one who can fix this now. I trust that you understand me. And there it is. Man, it's even... I thought it was Seven Red Sons' eye, but like, no, it's just fucking Spearmaster's guts all over it. So you brought your overseer all this way. The least I can do is read your message about aloud for it. Pebbles, I send you this message as your concerned and longtime friend. Unparalleled innocence has sent an, had sent an overseer to your can, and we've all observed the state you are in. I know this is my fault. I should have foreseen you'd be too desperate to escape your situation to do things in proper moderation. For that, I am very, very sorry. However, please, don't disable your communication modules. You don't have to go through this alone. Everyone has been trying to contact you. We only want to help you. The behavior from your can has become erratic. It's not healthy, and it's not going to solve your problems. We have all lost communications for Moon as well, and have reason to believe her facility may be suffering irreversible damage from your attempts to fix yourself. I know better than anyone how you can be about these things, but it doesn't have to happen this way. Please respond back. He's about to be pissed. Astounding. You could never understand what I feel right now being pitied and lectured like this. What use would your help be? Your benevolent charity is what got me here in the first place! I wanted to find my own way out, and now I sit here rotting because of you and Moon! 
I am not just another bug wandering your worthless maze. I will reach my own solution without any of you. Get out! Get out! Uh... Where's the pearl? I was not given the pearl. Should be, it's not in my hand. I'm looking, it's not in my hand. Are you fucking serious? Well. There's only one way for this to go. I need I need that pearl over there. <laughs> Fellas, I think I got to be honest with you. Spearmaster is the worst campaign. It's not because it's not fun. It's not because, like, there's inherently anything wrong with, like, how it's designed. But this fucking pearl is so goddamn buggy. Like, I, I, like, barring the fact how easy it is to lose and how little direction you are given to, like, on what you need to do with it. Because it just gets shoved in your hand. And you will barely even know how I got there. Hell, it was supposed to get shoved in my hand. And I didn't get it. But you're given no direction that you need to keep that. Unlike Hunter, where it's very clear that, like, you start with the fucking neuron. You start with the neuron, like, in your hand. You know it's important. And thus you keep it. You can tell that's important from the get-go because you start with it. He's holding it in his hand. But in this instance, you're given very little direction. You might have been, you might just think you accidentally hit the grab button. Even though it's forced on you, it, like it all happened so fast, you don't know what the fuck happened. And then, like I've heard of it like just disappearing in shelters. And then we have this. And then just losing it in general. Even if you know what to do. It's so fucking easy to lose it. I lost it in gutter. And that's why we're restarting right now. Like this is just. Like it's a bad campaign. Because it's just so buggy. And so volatile. And there's very little you can do to avoid it. Because in hunter you can at least. Eat the neuron. You can s store the neuron in your stomach, like any other slug cat. You can't do that with Spearmaster. You're unable to do that as Spearmaster. And that really fucking sucks. <laughs> and shelters, cliffs, bugging, and five pellets. Yeah, exactly. And now I gotta climb back through here. I think I might have to listen to the dialogue again. All just to get this fucking pearl. In my hand. <laughs> and it might fucking vanish anyways. <laughs> because, God, like, I could, like, use my passage and there, like, I think I've read of it just vanishing. This pearl is really badly designed. And the fact that they have not, like, patched these things out for a vital key item. Is unforgettable. And a tarnish on a very, very good game. We have nine, we have like eight minutes until our next ad break. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to have it go through now. And then we're going to try, we're going to try and go get the pearl. And then once we get the pearl and get to the shelter, that's probably when I'm going to end stream and we're going to raid somebody. Who the fuck we're going to raid? I don't know yet. <laughs> I, I've been checking periodically. The only person that's currently on is Juniper and like, uh, Lament. Love Juniper. Looked up to her. We talked about her all stream. Uh, she is a very big streamer. I am a blip. <laughs> I, I'd rather raid someone 
on a more comparable size, which is what a lot of people want to do. But anyways, uh, y'all go do the standard human things, eat, stretch, drink, use bathroom, and we will check back in just a minute. With all that being said, bye for now. Hello, hello there, everybody, and welcome back. We are now going to make one more attempt at getting this pearl. Uh, and we're going to try and be quick about it, because I have found ourselves a suitable raid target. It turns out my raid shit just was not updated. She is a good friend of mine, and I would like to raid her within a timely manner. But of course, first, we must get ourselves... Our ripped out pearl from our chest. With our blood and guts all over it. And with due haste. So away we go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man. <laughs> yes, indeed. Indubitably. Indubitably so. We must make our way. Hmm. Yes. 
pearls, pearls even, as the scavengers call them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, uh, th this fuck, this fucking, this pearl really does ruin an otherwise great campaign. I could even deal with just the fact you have to carry it, because Spearmaster is heavily carried by, like, his double spear gameplay. So losing that and going back to normal slug cat is like it, it it's cool. In fact, it even like gears you up for like other campaigns where you're not going to have access to that if you do this before Rivulet. So I actually do kind of applaud that like aspect of his design. But this pearl and the fact that it is so fucking buggy. So fucking vital and so fucking easy to lose is just not good. I think this might be why he's last before Saint. Alright, I have to go up right here. But that would make sense. The Pearl being the reason he's the second to artist before Saint. It's still bad design. But like, more forgivable. This is not the way. Or is it the way? I'm delusional. I shouldn't have closed. I shouldn't have closed the five pebbles map. <laughs> I was like, I'll remember the route. I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, that uh, this pearl has just been pain in the ass. And bro, if this shit bugs out again, I'm just moving to Rivulet, and then after I beat Riv, I will use. I will install like mods to get the pearl to spawn. Uh, no, I do. I do go that way. I'm stupid. I'm stupid and an idiot. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. Shit is crazy. This pearl is crazy. The pearl in my chest. Trying to beat out like my heart. Alright. Ugh. Come on. This is the worst part of this, I'll be honest with you. Uh, there we go. Uh. In his chest has got a working... Got some working parts. How is that different from my beaten heart? Stay away from me, Surveyor. A daddy long legs in the making. I like that theory. I like the theory that surveyors are just daddy long legs before they get infected by rot. There's so much in the iterators that's just like, oh, that gets turned into not that. And it's bad. There we go. Oh my god, please. <laughs> Spear master. Throw the rock. Oh, this works. And then right here. There we go. Oh, according to Keikaku. I gotta go up. Upsie daisy. I would like to know what's up. I would like to know what's up with the iterator schematic that Riv gets. Oh, yeah, that'd be fucking cool. Mm. Riv is just so weird, dude. That man has the most un... Like, that fucking Riv has more unanswered questions. Um, um, like, second to most unanswered questions. Only beaten by Saint. And I feel like Saint gets more, like... Saint kind of gets more of an explanation as to what he is than Riv does, which I think is kind of funny. I might have just fucked myself with this. I think there is a surveyor on its way to kick my ass. Yeah. Saint gives explanations and open whole cans of worms no one thought about before. Riv is the best cam campaign for many reasons other than Saint. Hmm. 
I mean, I, I mean, uh, Skull was in here talking about how he died like 600 times on Saint, and I'm like, that's that's terrifying, but also, holy shit, how long were you playing Saint? <laughs> I'm not sure if Skull is still lurking, but now I do have to wonder, like, how long were you there? We have a quantity of your deaths. How long were you actually like there though in playtime? I'm curious now. General Systems Bus. The Magic School Bus. With the frizz. Okay, so I've got an idea to make sure I get that pearl. I did hear a lot of people had problems with saying I had fairly easy time though. I mean, the, th the thing is, it just turns into avoiding rather than fighting. So you're playing keep away rather than deal with the problem. But Saint, like, has the tools to deal with those problems. You know? At least that's what I've had in my head. God, Random Gods is such a good song. I love it. Oh, yeah. Circuit, since you watched, I am curious. What was Junie's reaction to Five Pebbles? Because I will be honest, given her track record, I completely expected her to uh, fall for him. <laughs> I was like, Five Pebbles feels like right up Junie's alley. Of I can fix him and also twink. <laughs> She wants to fight. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew that's how it would go. <laughs> I knew it 100%. That's the way I normally play, so I had an easier time than most. Yeah. Uh, I fucking completely predicted that. I was like, she's totally going to want five pebbles. <laughs> hey yo, he made Moon thirsty. Me next. <laughs> uh, me now. Uh, I love when Rizier is always right. Okay, here's my plan. I need that over there. 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 <laughs> I need that over there. 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 I need this 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 one over there. 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 Uh, I hope to God he doesn't bring all these back over here. But my plan is to just grab that pearl as soon as he drops it. He does check every single item on item's bucket list. Well, let me try that one again. He does check every single item on Junie's bucket list. Yes, exactly. That was my thoughts when I really thought about it. Like, oh, Lord, once she learns more about five pebbles. Like, Survivor. Survivor doesn't give you a lot of info on five pebbles, but I knew. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, go, go the other way. 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 All right, I got it. <laughs> like, no, that is the wrong direction. <laughs> Come back. <clears throat> and she doesn't even know about the cat boy picks. Oh, Lord. She really does lack critical information. <laughs> All right, get out, and I have the pearl this time, yay. <laughs> uh, I hope Junie does get back to Rain World, though. Even if just for, like, Hunter. Yippee. <laughs> uh. Must create momentum. And not press the Y button right now. Once I get into the shelter up here, we should be good. 
for next time. If I can fucking... The blue pole should be grabbable. I'm just gonna say it. The blue pole should be grabbable. Why are they not grabbable? I think Junie will get walled at Artie. She probably would. Ugh. Cause Art like Artie is a fun fucking time at first. You feel powerful as shit. And then you get to Metropolis. And then you get to Metropolis. Hell, honestly, he, Chimney Canopy also is kind of, like, really hard. That was the first time when I was, like, once I got there, I was like, oh, this is why people hate Chimney Canopy. <laughs> I love Chimney Canopy, but now I'm seeing why people don't like it. The first one is Artie, and the second one is Spearman. Oh, bro, Spearmaster's gonna fucking destroy Like, without knowledge of the pearl. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I just wanted to collect it. I needed I needed it collected. It was bugging me. <laughs> uh. Regardless, I do hope she goes back to it at some point. At the bare minimum, does more, like, research into, like, the lore and stuff. If the lore is upper alley. And then discovers the Catboy picks, because that would be funny. <laughs> Alright, I'm not taking any chances right now. Alright. Eat. I still am holding the pearl. And there we are. And boy, Hattie, I worked hard to get people in the Moss server. I worked hard to get people in the Moss server into Rain World lore. Good on you. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I, don't get me wrong. Junie's server is like one of the most welcoming places I have ever been in. Like, I feel more like... I'm... I, this is, like, too, like, far in the direction, but it's the only word I think of. I feel like I matter more in Juni's server, and that says a lot in spite of how fucking big it is. Because in, like, even the smallest of VTubers server, I, like, I consistently always, like, feel like a complete blip. Which is understandable, I'm just some fucking guy, but it's just, like, even if you're just some fucking guy, like, in Juni's server... <laughs> If you, if you just talk, if you just, like, do stuff, especially if you do, like, anything, like, cool stuff. Like you said, apparently, like, you notice me because of model making, and I guess that's a, another reason people notice me. Like, you consistently, like, feel like you matter. It's surprisingly not an overwhelming place. It's not overwhelming, but it's still busy. And that's why I really don't talk there very much. It's not overwhelming, but it is still busy, and it still is a lot to keep up with. And I just, I just, like, I hate when I will go away from a server from, like, five minutes and, like, half the fucking channels are lit back up again. It drives me mad. <laughs> Even, no matter how good the server is. That's why I only drop in there occasionally. I love it. I love it. I love Junie's community. She's cultivated something very good in spite of her size. Because usually, like, a community, like, of that size... A fan base of this size would usually find its way into, like, just kind of being, like, this overwhelming, like, place that you can barely even get your thoughts out, let alone hear yourself think. And it's just not become that. And that's so fucking cool to me. And I really do genuinely hope I could kind of cultivate something like that for my community at some point. As of right now, it's kind of just me, you, CC, and Meryl occasionally. <laughs> Eh, nah, not occasionally. Mer Meryl's here pretty consistently. They just lurk most of the time. It's a difficult thing, yeah. The VTuber boom is gone, and, co and compound that with the fact that I'm male. Like, no, I'm wrong. I'm not saying, like, 
I'm not saying, like, female VTubers don't work hard to get their audiences and stuff, but, like, male VTubers, like, have to work a lot harder. Everyone's working hard. Male VTubers are just working harder. <laughs> That's, like, my stance on it. Me, though, at this point, a year into things, I'm kind of just apathetic to the growth. And I kind of just want to make content that I'm happy with and that I'm and that I'm consistently like entertaining myself with as I'm making it my la like the last few weeks of streams that I've kind of been really like putting this mindset into like effect have been some of the best streams I've ever had even when nobody like really talked in chat like my Christmas stream I had so much fun with that there was not a single message in chat. The only messages I got were in a Discord server where one person who was not in my chat was commenting on it. They were a friend, and they but they only made like three comments during the whole thing. But I still had a ton of fun with it because I was just like, I just decided I'm going to have fun regardless of how many people are watching. Like, I've just made it my goal to feel like I am a fantastic streamer, even if that view count always says zero. That's my goal right now. And I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job at the moment. But like you say, I don't have booba. So that's a, so really, th th this content sucks. Why am I even doing this? <laughs> mm. I see, it. what's the point of streaming if you're not having fun? Exactly. Eh, fucking exactly. Mm. Always be able to have fun. Like, chatters, viewers, big numbers, like, that can make it more fun. But you need to be having fun. So, like, if anyone if anyone who's, like, watching this right now or is watching the VOD who is thinking about streaming, just, just like, really try to have that mindset. It's going to spare you, like, so much, like, anxiety and stress and stuff throughout, like, your beginning stages. It, it, it helps so much. I have been so much more mentally healthy since, like, adopting this and since I, like, talked to Meryl about, like, what I could be doing with my content. And they really just told me to just pick the direction you want to go and go with it. And I was just like, you're right. And I've just been doing that and doing what I feel is fun, talking how I feel is fun. And it's been great. I've had a really good time. <laughs> and, and it's showing and just, like, how... I feel like it does, like, kind of show in just, like, how when people show up and are chatting, like, you circuit, like, people are, like, sticking around more. So it's, like, carrying. But I'm still, like, really trying to lock it in. Just, like, this is my content and I need to make it my way and have fun in my way. And it's just been nice. Things have been nice. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Enough sappy, like, streamer talk. Let's go ahead. Exit. We've hit, we've made good progress today. I'm going to go ahead. Close this out. I'm going to turn back on the music. We're going to go back to the chatting screen real quick. Hello again. I am now bigger. I am not an ant. Y'all are still my ants, though. And let's go ahead. And let's go raid my wonderful friend... Ludmilla VT. She's playing some Wizard 101 right now. She's incredible. She's very fun to hang around with. She she's very chaotic, very uh very chill and just a very good friend. She's she's the one who bought me Link's Awakening for those that don't know. So she's the reason we're playing that right now, but uh yeah, everyone go go be nice and go show her a lot of love. She deserves it. She deserve she deserves all of it. Thank you for stream clap. You're welcome, Circuit. Thank you for showing up. You were, your company is always greatly appreciated here. You're a great guy and a great person to talk to during uh during stream. <laughs> but um, as for tomorrow, speaking of Link's Awakening, that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. We're gonna do another dungeon. I think we got like one more week of that after this left. I th I think I'm almost done with the game. I'm getting there. But after that, I'm not sure what I will replace it with. I will think of something. Definitely something to consider, but yeah. yeah. I also need to talk to uh, my friend about a collab of sorts next week. They aren't a VTuber, but they are a good friend of mine, and I'll definitely have a good time with them if they're able to do something next week. If not, uh, I'll probably just do like editing or art next week. 
because it's somebody I want to do fan art for. But yeah, raid's almost about to happen. Hope you all had a good time. Hope you all have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever the fuck you're doing. And y'all have a good one.